loyalist marchers came to Dublin at lunchtime to walk a route from Parnell Square to Leinster House that had been agreed with authorities. The march never left its starting point. As the bands and marchers prepared to head off, up to 300 people had gathered to protest at the march. Some of those protesters were gathered at the Parnell Monument at the top of O'Connell Street. Suddenly, Gardaí, journalists, photographers and cameramen came under attack. Slabs of concrete which had been lying on the ground were used as weapons. Bricks were thrown and bottles. Firecrackers were also hurled at random targets. A number of Gardaí were injured on O'Connell Street. They were dragged to safety by their colleagues. RTE journalist Charlie Bird was singled out by a group of men who began attacking him. He was rescued by Gardaí. Listen, it was all over in seconds, but they just repeatedly punched me in the face with their fists and um, I just ran. It was, I couldn't believe it. It was, um, but there was absolutely no doubt that the people who set upon me, they knew who I was, they knew that I worked for RTE, RTE they, and they described me as an orange bastard. Within minutes of these attacks breaking out, the violence had spread down O'Connell Street, Garda riot squad officers coming under attack. Saturday shoppers and tourists fled the scene as gangs of mostly young men continued hurling bricks and setting fires on the city's main street. The riot squad managed to split the rioters into smaller groups and carried out a number of arrests. One gang had moved down to Aston Key near the Haveny Bridge and continued throwing objects. Today's violence on Dublin streets left 14 people in hospital.